So you agreed to get hacked? You know, I am really safe on the internet. I don't open links that I shouldn't. I have a very, very low profile. I do not think I am a good target here. This is Jeffrey Katzenberg, co-founder and former CEO of DreamWorks and billionaire investor. What's happening today? I'm hacking Jeffrey Katzenberg. It's gonna be fun. This is Rachel Toback, and she can hack just about anything. As an ethical hacker, she's hacked news reporters, Fortune 500 companies, and everything in between. Jeffrey might think he's pretty safe. Most people do. But the truth is that nobody is unhackable, and it can be surprisingly easy to get in. Wanna see how it's done? I'm in charge of the human hacking, and Evan is behind the technical elements of the exploit and hack. We're gonna build our pretext using information from data breaches and data brokerage sites. The first step for an attacker is to figure out who you are going to pretend to be and how you're gonna contact them. This hack, I think it makes sense to be Jeffrey's right-hand man, Anthony Soleil. Anthony recently had a Wall Street Journal article about him and Jeffrey's working relationship, and we can find more details about how to pretend to be in this hack from Jeffrey's work website. So this specific attack works because Jeffrey's computer is out of date. A security researcher has found a vulnerability in Jeffrey's software, and now that's publicly known. The vendor has since fixed this problem, but since Jeffrey hasn't updated, the patches aren't protecting him yet. Now it's time to send Jeffrey our message with the malicious link. So what we're gonna do is place a call to Jeffrey and we're gonna spoof the phone number, make the caller ID look like it's calling from Anthony. We're also gonna use voice changing software and add in background noise. So it sounds like I'm in a really loud place and I can't really hear him because I can't do Anthony's voice. So I can only say a little bit. So as I, you know, I think we were talking about, I, I, I really think I'm, sorry. Hey Anthony, what's up? What? Check, check email. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I think we got it. Hey Mindy, can I have you He clicked. Okay, we got it. Okay, so now our attack prompts Jeffrey to open a shared cloud folder, which we told him to expect in the phishing email. Once he clicks open, the rest of the attack will continue in the background, and we'll be able to steal data from any oh, site he's hey, currently logged. Second to. here, guys. Yeah. Sorry, and sorry, sorry. That's how we hacked a billionaire. It was at this point that we thought it might be nice to tell Jeffrey exactly what had happened. Oh boy, Rachel, Jeffrey. Evan, <laughs> you people are bad people. Guess I was just a bit too confident. It's okay if I come in. Come on I'm in. coming in. Come on, I already hacked you. It's worse than you realize. No, it can't be any worse than I it think. Is. Come on. Let me show you. Yeah. I can't you. wait to hear the good news <laughs> here. You probably want to know what all happened, what all went down. Right? Yeah, I'd say. You remember that email from Anthony? Yeah. That was me. How is it you if it's from Anthony? I had a lookalike email address, so it looked like I was emailing from Anthony, but I was actually emailing as myself. So how do you get a... You can just purchase it. It's .co instead of .com. And then the phone number, I was spoofing that phone call. So it I know, made, but it was Anthony's voice. I used a voice changer. That's bananas. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> and so you probably want to see what I got from you. I probably don't, but I <laughs> think you're going to show it to me anyway. So yes. The first thing that we were able to steal. See, my driver's license. Probably also recognize that I was able to steal your passport, passport. COVID card, pictures of your grandkids. These pictures were in your cloud. So any website that you're currently logged into, we could access. Because you were logged into your email on your machine, we were able to steal all your emails. <laughs> <laughs> because you clicked the malicious link and your computer was out of date. So you know how that little thing will come in on the side and it'll say, update your computer yeah. now? Yeah. And you're like, no, thank right. you. I would rather do anything else. And enough of those weeks built up and we had a known vulnerability with your computer out of date that we were able to leverage against you. Well, you are really malicious. <laughs> <laughs> so we were also able to steal your contacts, which is scary because, you know, you're a pretty connected individual. When you are hacked, there's a huge blast radius among you and all of the people that you have connections with. You remember when you got that phone call from Anthony, yep. right? Well, unfortunately, when you click that link, we were able to gain access to your mic, and we didn't even indicate that that mic was on, and we were able to listen in on your call. So you want me to roll the footage back for you here? No, I, I take your word for it. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna play it anyway. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> Remember that call? Yeah. You don't even really use the internet that much. No. I have a super low profile, and, right. but it's amazing just how vulnerable we all are. I know, it's scary stuff. 
Thanks for being a good sport. Thank you for <laughs> nothing. <laughs> All right, you guys, get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Jeffrey. Have a shitty trip home. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs>